Welcome to another thrilling journey with Trekkers Travels, your go-to guide for immersive and unforgettable travel experiences. We're here to open up the world to you, one destination at a time, with engaging insights, savvy tips, and a keen eye for hidden gems. Today we're setting our sights on a region that's as diverse as it is enchanting. We're off to Andalusia, Spain. Andalusia, a land where cultures have converged and histories have intertwined where the whitewashed villages stand in stark contrast to the azure skies, where flamenco rhythms echo through the air, and where the scent of orange blossoms fills the streets. This is a place that has been shaped by the Romans, the Moors, and the Christians, each leaving an indelible mark on its culture, architecture, and cuisine. In this journey, we're going to delve into five captivating destinations in Andalusia, each with its own charm and story to tell. We'll begin our exploration in Seville, the historical heart of Andalusia. Here, centuries-old traditions come alive, and architectural marvels, like the Grand Seville Cathedral and the Alcazar, stand testament to the city's rich past. Next, we'll journey to Ronda, one of Andalusia's most spectacular white villages. Perched on a precipice, this town is a sight to behold, with its dramatic views of the El Tajo Gorge and its wonderfully preserved Moorish baths. From Ronda, we'll make our way to the coastal city of Malaga. This sun-drenched locale is not just about sandy beaches and sparkling seas, it's also the birthplace of Pablo Picasso and a burgeoning hub of art and culture. Then we'll venture into the olive country Yane. This province is the world's largest producer of olive oil, and its rolling hills of olive groves are a sight to behold. So buckle up, as we embark on this sun-kissed adventure across Andalusia. We're about to peel back the layers of this vibrant region and reveal its true colors, from its bustling cities and tranquil villages, to its rich history and tantalizing cuisine. Get ready to experience Andalusia like never before. Our first stop takes us to the historic heart of Andalusia, Seville. As the capital and largest city of this vibrant region, Seville is a treasure trove of culture and history. Let's start with the Seville Cathedral, a magnificent masterpiece of Gothic architecture. Did you know that it is the third largest church in the world and the largest Gothic church? Quite a feat, isn't it? But its size isn't the only thing that impresses visitors. Inside, you'll find an awe-inspiring collection of art and the tomb of Christopher Columbus. A climb to the top of the Giralda, the cathedral's bell tower, rewards you with a panoramic view of the city. Not too far from the cathedral, you'll find the Alcazar. This royal palace is a stunning example of Mudajar architecture, a style unique to Spain and its history of Christian and Muslim influences. Walking through the palace's lush gardens, intricate courtyards, and grand halls, you'll feel like you've been transported back in time. And for all you Game of Thrones fans out there, you might recognize the Alcazar as the Water Gardens of Dorne. But Seville isn't just about historic buildings. It's also the birthplace of flamenco. This passionate dance form is a must-see, and there are plenty of tablaos or flamenco venues where you can catch a live performance. A tip for first-time visitors? Don't just watch, join in. Flamenco is all about expression and emotion. And there's nothing quite like the thrill of stomping your feet to the rhythm of the guitar and clapping along with the crowd. Here's another tip for you. Don't miss out on tasting Seville's mouth-watering tapas. Wander around the bustling Triana district, where you'll find an array of tapas bars serving everything from traditional tortilla española to innovative fusion dishes. As we leave the vibrant city of Seville, we set our sights on a more tranquil destination. But remember, this is just the start of our journey through Andalusia. There's so much more to discover, and we can't wait to share it with you. So stick around, and let's continue to explore this enchanting region together. Welcome to Ronda, the gem among Andalusia's famed white villages. Perched high on a cliff, Ronda's dramatic landscapes are nothing short of breathtaking, a testament to nature's grandeur and the enduring charm of old-world architecture. Ronda is more than just a pretty face, though. It's a city steeped in history, where every cobblestone street and whitewashed facade tells a story. The town is divided into two distinct sections, the older Moorish district known as La Ciudad and the newer Mercadillo Quarter. These two are connected by the iconic Puente Nuevo, a stone bridge that's as much a symbol of Ronda as it is a marvel of engineering. If you're a photography enthusiast, you'll find endless inspiration here. The Puente Nuevo offers stunning views of the El Tacho Gorge, while the Plaza de Toros, one of the oldest bullrings in Spain, is a must-visit for its architectural beauty and historical significance. Don't miss the opportunity to capture the golden hues of the setting sun as it paints the city's white buildings in warm, glorious light. 
When it comes to local cuisine, Ronda doesn't disappoint. Be sure to try the traditional Andalusian dishes like gazpacho, a refreshing cold tomato soup, or rabo de toro, a slow-cooked oxtail stew that's a local favorite. For the wine lovers among us, Ronda's vineyards offer an excellent selection of wines, with guided tours and tastings that are sure to delight your palate. For a dose of culture, visit the Casa del Rey Moro, a Moorish king's house that offers a fascinating glimpse into Ronda's past. The lush gardens and the water mine, a series of steps leading down to a river, are highlights not to be missed. Ronda is a place where time slows down, where the hustle and bustle of modern life feels like a distant memory. It's a place that invites you to wander its narrow streets, lose yourself in its rich history, and savor its culinary delights. Leaving the picturesque beauty of Ronda behind, we journey towards the coast. Make sure to carry the memories of this charming white village in your heart as we continue our adventure through the enchanting land of Andalusia. Next, we find ourselves in the sun-soaked coastal city of Malaga. Here, the golden sand beaches stretch out like a warm welcome, kissed by the Mediterranean Sea. Malaga's beaches are not just about sunbathing, they're about volleyball games that stretch into the evening, sandcastle competitions and the simple joy of dipping your toes into the sparkling water. As the sun sets, Malaga transforms. The nightlife here is pulsating, full of rhythm and life. The city is dotted with bars and clubs, from laid-back beachside hangouts to upscale cocktail bars. Whether you're looking to dance the night away or enjoy a quiet drink under the stars, Malaga's nightlife scene has something for everyone. But Malaga is not just about beaches and nightlife. This city is also the birthplace of the world-renowned artist, Pablo Picasso. You can trace his footsteps, from the Plaza de la Merced where he played as a child, to the Fundacion Picasso Museum, home to an extensive collection of his works. The city's love for art doesn't stop with Picasso. There are over 30 museums, each with their own unique collections, making Malaga a true art lover's paradise. Now let's talk about when to visit. The best time to enjoy Malaga is from April to June when the weather is warm but not too hot, and the city is alive with festivals and cultural events. The Malaga Fair in August is a spectacle not to be missed, filled with traditional music, dance, and mouth-watering food. Speaking of food, you simply cannot leave Malaga without indulging in the local seafood. Freshly caught sardines grilled on an open fire, tangy ceviche, or a hearty seafood paella, Malaga's coastal cuisine is a culinary adventure you won't forget. And just like that, our time in Malaga comes to an end. As we say goodbye to the coast, we head into the heart of the Andalusian countryside. Our final destination is Jane, the olive country of Andalusia. This is where the magic of the Mediterranean meets the rugged beauty of the Sierra Marina Mountains. Jane is a sprawling expanse of silver-leafed olive groves, shimmering under the Andalusian sun. It's a sight to behold, especially in the early morning when the first rays of sunlight touch the dew-kissed leaves. This land, drenched in golden sunlight and ancient history, is responsible for producing a quarter of the world's olive oil. Now we're not talking about your run-of-the-mill supermarket olive oil, this is the champagne of olive oils cold-pressed from hand-picked olives, a product of love, passion, and centuries-old traditions. So remember, when in Jane, a bottle of this liquid gold is a must-buy. The city is also home to a plethora of ancient castles, each with its own story to tell. The imposing Santa Catalina Castle, perched atop a hill, offers stunning panoramic views of the city and the endless olive groves. The best time to visit Jan? Late spring or early autumn. The weather is pleasant, the olives are ripe, and the city is alive with festivities. From the whispering olive groves to the silent castles, Jane is a testament to the enduring spirit of Andalusia. It's a place where the past and present coexist, where every street corner has a tale to tell. As we wrap up our journey in Jane, we hope you've enjoyed this tour of Andalusia's most captivating spots. And that concludes our journey across the stunning landscapes of Andalusia. From the historical heart of Seville to the white villages of Ronda, the coastal charm of Malaga, and the olive country of Jaén, each offering its own unique experiences and unforgettable memories. The spirit of Andalusia awaits you. If you've enjoyed this adventure with Trekkers Travels, do give us a like and subscribe for more such exciting travel journeys. Until next time, keep exploring!